What is your current status, Comrade Major? I'm detecting a loss of focus and an intense surge of emotion. Might. I'm losing my fucking shit. That's my goddamn status. I failed my mission again. Victor's dead, and I've got his head in a damn jar, and Sechenov thinks that's all fine and fucking dandy, get it? No, comrade mate. But I've never lugged a human head around as a trophy. Did you see that gigantic robot in the theater? There was a combat robot in the theater. Shines my gears. No, comrade major. The rings. The motherfucking rings that asshole Petrov gave me. You know why it grinds my gears? No, Comrade Major. Me? Neither. Shit! Whatever. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, we're headed to Pavlov. Got any ideas? Pavlov is a secret complex. Located in a remote part of Facility 3826, called Sahalin. It would be quite difficult to get in a large number of enemies. I suggest taking a vehicle. And, Comrade Major, this would also be an excellent time to enhance your arsenal as much as possible. Searching for other testing grounds is highly recommended. Enough complaining. What Whatever you say. Again, come back soon. We're expecting an amazing new batch of robots for your entertainment. The next shell will be even more interesting. Please come back here for a sequel. I see you enjoyed the show so much. Leave to purchase a ticket. Please go to the ticket booth. The other end, foyer. Don't forget the snack bar. Please proceed to the bar. Did you leave anything in the coat check room? Please proceed into the restroom. Leave this place! Major P3, I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. Filatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings, with better one and better two engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. How goes it, Sunny? Still in one piece? Hey, Granny Zena. Long time no see. I've definitely had better days. In one piece? Hey, Granny Zena. Long time no see. Definitely had better days, but yeah. I guess I'm still in one piece. Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov. Well, nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, I got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. And then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov. No. I didn't, Granny Zena. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Oh, that's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. <laughs> Why have you deceived everyone, Comrade Major? Petrov gave you those rings before he died. Everyone else is deceiving me, even Dr. Sechenov, and I never saw it coming. On what basis have you drawn this conclusion? I just thought about what Petrov told me. Would you kindly be more specific? Petrov said combat mode was programmed into the bots during construction. 
He couldn't possibly have reprogrammed them all himself. It's true, goddammit. And why is that? Because Petrov was a pussy. He was a programmer, not a fighter. But these robots know how to fight. He couldn't have programmed them because he doesn't know the first thing about combat. That Natasha was armed with fucking missiles. Where'd it get him, huh? It's a construction robot. Petrov couldn't have armed it with Thank missile you. launchers. He's not an engineer. He couldn't have hacked into the robot plant. Petrov, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover. Screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder, and could not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening again. And now... You have my sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major.
no one can force somebody into collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? I'm not a member of collective. How can collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The oh, robot shut identifies up. you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in collective and tells the others about it. Then what? Start giving me shit about it? Essentially, yes. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so hot and bothered about the rings? I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. There's gotta be more to it than that. The U.S. is constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right? He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean... Autolysis starts approximately 7 to 10 minutes after death, followed by defecation in 3 to 5 minutes. Rigor mortis sets in 5 to 6 hours, then, let me see, complete decomposition in about 5 years. What are you doing? I'm counting. Counting. Everything has to be thoroughly calculated. Precision matters. Observation in detail is the key to success. I'm a scientist. I must spend every moment examining and cataloging nature's phenomena. Comrade, do you know many people capable of documenting the decomposition of their own body? I understand the grave importance of your mission. Don't let me distract you. Oh, cut off or cough. You made me lose my concentration. Let's start again. Charles, what is this place? I mean, what is this complex even for? The Pavlov complex is the origin of all of Facility 3826's biological innovations. Unique experiments are conducted here, involving everything from breeding new species of farm animals to developing new space exploration technology. Outer space? You mean they make moon rovers here, not Chalamet? Space exploration is about more than just vehicles. A spaceship and rovers will of course be required, but what then? What about after humans reach the Red Planet? You mean they breed animals from Mars here? Among other things, yes. In addition to breeding new species of animals suitable for Martian conditions, 
Soviet science is looking for ways to bolster man's ability to exist on Mars. So what, they're gonna give us gills so we can swim in gas oceans? Gas oceans are on Jupiter, Major. Mars features low temperatures and lethal hurricanes. But you're basically correct. The capabilities of your species have yet to be fully studied. So the latest medical breakthroughs, new life support systems, all came from here. Indeed, Comrade Major. So many geniuses worked here for the good of all mankind. And now they're gone.
What will it be, Major? Weapons or abilities? Tell me, Comrade Major, based on your professional and personal experience, would our civilian robots in combat mode really be able to complete the Atomic Heart Project? Yeah, they could do it no problem. If there were plenty of bots at all the military bases, headquarters, and launch sites, and nobody expected them to attack, they could take the American military by surprise. Just like they did to the soldiers here. What a shame. The world just recovered from a war. And now there will be another. Well, it's not really so bad if you think about it. What do you mean, Comrade Major? If Comrade Sechenov and the Politburo want to take over the U.S. and even the whole world, they won't fight regular people. But civilians do perish during combat operations. You know all about that. If the robots are programmed not to kill civilians, they won't attack civilians. You're a robot, Charles. You should know all about that. In a sense, I suppose you're right. A robotic glove. What? Gloves won't take orders from Collective? It depends on the glove. Some will, and some will only be able to obey their carriers. I digress. Civilian robots will assume the order to activate combat mode from Collective. And whoever sets Collective's policies will easily be able to order them to kill anyone at all, including civilians. Why would they kill civvies? They're regular workers, farmers, scientists. Shit. So that's what they want the rings for. And what's that? You can take your thought device off and disconnect from Collective, but a bot can't, can it? That means your own robot housekeeper will drag your ass back into Collective at the drop of a hat. They want the rings to put on their own robots, so they'll only listen to them. Correct.
A complaint. Listen, I am filing a complaint. About what? About your Stockhausen's disgusting behavior. I was injured, but could have been saved. I was bleeding out and begged him for help. But that stock of yours, and I know you're calling him that ironically. Just Fine. We'll deal with it.